Welcome to SkySiv. This is going to be a quick onboarding video about the SkySiv member design module. The SkySiv member design module is primarily used alongside Structure 3D to design members of various materials in accordance with building codes around the world. It can also be used as a standalone module, but it is not common. And because of this, we're going to go through the integrated version. After completing the modeling and solving process of a structure in Structural 3D, the model can be directly imported into the member design module and the correct design code can be selected based on uh, whatever location you're using or design code you're trying to use and the material type. So let's do that now. Click on member design module and then select from a very variety of different codes. So the three different materials you can design in the member design module are steel, cold form steel, and wood. We'll go with steel here because we're using AISC sections. Similar to other modules, you can adjust the project details, client details, project notes. Uh, similar, similar to the connection design module, you can adjust the design factors to be as conservative or uh, aggressive as you, as you want to be. The values shown here will always be the default ones. If you come to the members tab, uh, you can view all the members that are eligible for the design in this tab. So if the member you have is not the correct uh, section or, or does not match a database section of, let's say, AISC, then they won't show up here. But because all three of my members are AISC shapes, um, they'll show up. Uh, it's going to recognize inputs such as length, unbraced length, buckling ratio, slenderness ratio, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, these columns will always differ based on what code you're using and what material you're trying to design with. You can also view the materials that are in your model and the sections that are in your model. So for this frame, uh, the two columns are one section, the beam is another section, and they're both using uh, ASTM A992, which is a database material. Um, and the database materials and sections can be applied to a variety of different codes. The Forces tab lets you view any of the load cases, combinations, or envelope forces for the entire structure. So right now, uh, we have the selection for to use, automatically use the worst case load combination uh, for our design. And if you wanted to view any of the load combination forces, these are the absolute maxes in the entire uh, structure. So we'll keep this the same and we'll go on to the results. When you're ready to design something, hit the check button. Once the design is run, you can easily distinguish between passing and failing members with each column representing a limit state. So for this instance, we have one member that is failing and two members that are passing. If you want to get into the details more about what the calculations are doing or what is happening, you can click on any individual member report using these little buttons here. So we'll take a look at the member one. It'll generate a hand calculation report uh, based on all the forces that you have and the shapes that you have. And you can export this as a PDF or HTML file and save it on your device. So you can see very detailed reports here. You can also view and print a detailed summary report with your logo if you're a professional user. This is basically just a summary of all those things. That will wrap up this quick run through of the integrated member design module used with Structural 3D. Make sure to check out our software documentation for more in-depth information about this module and thanks for watching this quick onboarding video about the SkySiv member design module.